Hello uh, well guys, welcome back for more Tales of Monkey Island. I figured out what to do, but on a more special note, or if you can call it special, this is the first set I'm recording in 2010. So, Happy New Year and all that stuff. Uh, on that note as well, there is a chance of hearing some background explosions that would be fireworks, because, well, some people tend to find stuff, so... Yeah, just in case something uh, nearby blows up and it makes a lot of noise, so... Ouch! What? Um... We got shocked from the, the rug. Well, that, that's going to be helpful. Because if you remember, one of the senses we need was... Where, it wasn't a sense, was it? We need something to do with the shock, though. Uh, touch, so shocking, right. So I, I'll remember that for the fifth, then. Um, more to... I better fold this up before I put it in my pocket. Yeah, you should. Uh, so I mentioned last time, we need some sort of meat to uh, feed to the jungle beast. And I think I remember where I found some meat last time. I think it was in the Singes, uh area. So let's uh, just run over there. Run up. So I believe there's a corner I missed in the room. Which is uh, not a silly of me. Huh? What, what happened to Morgan's body? Um, good fucking question. Balcony. Refreshing. Look outside the balcony or something. Totally uses microscope. Well, that's great. So I looked around this entire area, including the electrical device, which I I'm assuming we won't need now since the rug in club 41 already shocked us so i'm guessing it's one of the two but considering that one didn't seem to be working so must have been broken in the fight between morgan and desinge i hope the vole escaped yeah so now my best guess is the rug so one thing i missed is this little area skeleton Did singe murder you too possibly but the back room that's it's what locked. i missed Flimsily locked door. Well, we know we have a we're a master po lock picker, so. Yep, hook always works. Oh no, this is where the marquee keeps all the severed limbs of the pirates he's operated on. Hmm. Hey, you never know when a sack of severed legs is going to come in handy, or footy, as the case may be. Sorry. So, yeah. Examine the sack of severed legs. It's a sack full of severed legs. Ooh. Yeah, great. But, helpful. Uh, you can't actually walk out. You have to click. Alright. So let's go back into the jungle now. And where did Morgan's body go? That's just creepy. Really creepy. Well, jungle, here we come. Now I think we just need to go to the jungle entrance and take the top one, I think. Again, me and jungles. It's not a good combination. Oh, it is. Great. Uh, let's use the second severed legs with the altar then. Alas, poor Hemlock. I knew it, this limb, a leg of infinite toe jam, of most excellent thigh cheese. It hath borne its owner's creaking frame a thousand times, and now how clammy and gross within my grasp it wriggles. It's not wriggling. Oh, soup's on. Ooh, something's hungry. Uh-oh. Whoa, what? 
Hey, go back there. Well, that didn't help. I see, I see. I remember something from the last set now, if I can actually get to the well. Because I was being stupid and silly and tried chucking the sugar in the well. And because of that, there was fireflies in there. But uh, not fireflies, the... I have no clue what they were. Um, let's get a leg. Cover it with sugar, so there's flies. The fireflies are attracted to the sugar water on the leg. Fascinating. And just a little nauseating. That's just... How do I even... How do I even get the idea to try that? Well, considering I had the, the, the flies, flies there already, that wasn't too hard, but... I can imagine a lot of people, including myself normally, to be stuck there, because I wouldn't think of... Yeah, the flies. Then again, I guess they were hinted at frequently. Now, how the hell do I get back to the altar? I think it's to the left, but knowing me, it's not. Ah, oh, it is. Sweet. So let's use the sugar dipped severed leg. Yummy. I don't know about mythical jungle beasts, but I always prefer my ritual sacrifices to be slathered in sugar water. Um, I guess we have to move away now? Or use in the altar, just in case? No, don't take it. Fool. Put it back. I don't know about mythical... Yeah. Um, that didn't show. That's bad. Alright. So let's walk back now. And there's flies to the left. And that's more to the left. <laughs> At last, <laughs> I've lost that she devil. No, you haven't. Ouch. Nice one. Hurt. Serves him right, though. Still, I'd better finish feeding the sponge before Elaine hurts someone I actually care about. So, they seem to be going up. And to the right. There isn't actually a right there, but... Yeah, this is not where it pointed, is it? It's pointing over there. Oh. Firefly Trail. I was like, well, I can't walk there, so... Yeah, let's go there. The mighty pirate hunter tracks his prey via his distinctive firefly attracting spoor. <laughs> That's um. the legendary jungle beast of Flotsam Island? Jungle beast. Okay, let's interact, I guess. That poor little flesh-eating stink bomb looks like he's in a world of pain. And because of the paw. He can't chew on it or something. Uh, let's try and get the paw. Oh, look at that. The poor hideous flesh-eating plant is a smelly, rotting lion's paw caught in its teeth. Um, thorns. Hold still, little buddy. I'll get that nasty old hunk of meat out for Yikes! Hmm. Stinky rotten lion paw. Does it want something stinky and rotten back or something? Or do I have to use my hook to grab it? Come on, plant. Fork over that paw. I'll never okay. get my hands on that super stinky paw while that mouth is snapping at me. So what do you do to make it unable to snap? Put something in the mouth. So, here, have another piece of rotting leg, I guess. It's empty! What? You gotta be kidding me. Uh, well... Sugar? I don't know. Mm, I don't think so. Well, you, it could die by flies or something. Probably not, probably not. Well, the leg? I don't know. It's the only thing I really have that 
could possibly in some way be useful here. I mean, I'm not going to use La Spongia and a map I can't use, so the hook already didn't work. So I really doubt a ring would do it. Here, boy. Ooh, that looks uncomfortable, but at least he's not snapping at me anymore. <laughs> that looks uncomfortable. Oh, duh. You gotta pull that out at least, Guybrush, because that's just me. Don't worry, you freakish little abomination. Dr. Guybrush will make it all better. Gotcha! you! <laughs> that is by far the foulest thing I've ever smelled in all my years of pirating. And that's coming from a guy who's just spent a few days inside a giant manatee. True. So why did I really want a lion paw? Uh, that's what I'm wondering now. That lion's paw stinks worse than my mother-in-law's neck folds. I guess it stinks enough then. <laughs>